This world goes around in a cycle while we are all participants while riding this cycle. On this ride, we see some amazing things, some good and some bad. Come with me as we explore the B-Cyclopedia where I look at the spokes who made those B movies. What can I say about Sid Hay? Sid is a favorite at the horror cons and a cult B star. I remember Sid from Spider Baby, where Jack Hill realized he had a talented star that he cast in the movie. Spider Baby would be the earliest memorable role that many people will remember him from. Hag would go on to play many more roles for Jack Hill during Hill's black exploitation movie run. I mean, this guy played Pam Greer's boyfriend. That was the kind of guy he was. He was underrated. But Jack Hill and many such as I knew him to be a versatile actor. His size and bald head would keep him from having the chance to show off that versatility. He was a typecast for the tough guy or villain in television and uh, Roger Corman's films until his short-lived retirement in 1992 where he was employed as a hypnotherapist until he was brought out of retirement for Quentin Tarantino's Foxy Brown. And finally, Rob Zombie would bring Captain Spaulding out of retirement for good, where Haig would star in a slew of independent horror and mainstream horror as well. Haig was born in Fresno, California, and was raised in an Armenian community. Haig's career began somewhat by accident. As a young man, his rapid growth interfered with his motor coordination, prompting him to take dancing lessons at the age of seven years of age. He was a paid dancer in a children's Christmas show and later joined a vaudeville revival show. Haig Woods also displayed musical talent, particularly for the drums, prompting his parents to buy him a drum set on which he mastered a wide range of music styles, including swing, country, jazz, blues, and of course rock and roll. He found it easy to earn money with his music and signed a recording contract one year out of high school. Still a teenager, Egg went on to record the single Full House with the T-Birds in 1958, which shot to number four on the chart. When Haig was a high school student, the head of the drama department was Alice Morrell, who encouraged him to pursue acting career. Two years later, Haig rode in Pasadena Playhouse, a school that trained such noted actor as Robert Preston, Gene Hackman, and Dustin Hoffman. He later moved to Hollywood and a longtime friend and Pasadena Playhouse roommate, Stuart Margolin. Haig is known for his longevity of relationships with filmmakers from Jack Hill, Roger Corman, and now Rob Zombie. His presence at horror conventions shows how likable this guy really is. Sid is set to play Captain Spaulding again in Three from Hell and Rob Zombie's latest horror contribution. If you'd like for me to talk about another B extraordinaire, comment below and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Who's your daddy?